ancient Egypt army consisted of three main structures, infantry, chariots and naval fleet. Infantry troops were partially conscripted, partially voluntary. Egyptian soldiers, both natives and mercenaries, worked for pay. Mercenary troops were Nubians, Asiatic Marianu, the Sheridan, Libyans, the Gnarn, Phoenicians, Carians, and Greeks. Probably the most important weapon in the Egyptian army was the bow and arrow. The Egyptians used the composite bow that they learned about from the Hyksos. The foot soldier also were armed with a variety of weapons including spears, axes, and short swords. Their armor was made from textile wraps stiffened by animal glue, but aside from deflecting a long-range arrow, they wouldn't have been very effective as armor. The most elaborate and protective armor was reserved for the charioteers, who wore long coats of bronze scales, giving them the appearance of large, upright lizards. Chariotry, the backbone of the Egyptian army, was used as a mobile platform from which to use projectile weapons, and were generally pulled by two horses and manned by two charioteers. Chariots were used to ferry bowmen to suitable firing positions, where they dismounted and fired their bows on foot, climbing back into their chariots and speeding away when threatened. One major usage of the chariot was to ram into the front lines of the enemy to scare them into breaking formation, giving the army the opportunity to get behind their lines and start fighting. Naval fleet was created of planked ships, which were used more to transport troops and less for aquatic battles.